When you turn 100, you deserve a few perks on your birthday. Emily Sarian just wanted to spend hers with her beloved Indians. My name is Lori Stevick Rust, and I just turned 50 years old, and my grandmother just turned 100 years old. As I began to think about all of the life lessons that she shared with me over my 50 years, I decided to put some of those to print, and I wrote a memoir called Greedy for Life. Yeah, writing the book was really important to me now because the irony of my turning 50 years old and when my grandmother turned 50, just prior to my birth, because we have that 50 year uh, time difference between us, she almost died. And so I was three weeks away from being born and my grandmother almost lost her life. I had an awful lot of illness in my days, young days, and I never, never would think I'd be here till this age. For some reason, God spared me here, and I don't know why. He wanted me to see all this good stuff that my my grandkids give me, because they gave me an awful lot of love. I can't complain. You know what? Anytime I'm sick, anytime anything, any, they're all so good to me. And this is why I would love to live greedy for life. I would love to still live and see things, but I know it's not gonna happen. I'd love to live forever with you. Oh, and I'd love you to live forever with I me. I know. Because you'll always want to see more. But I know it's impossible. Well, you know, people ask me about why I wrote the book, Greedy for Life, and why I chose that title. And I said, that's something that you used to always say. It's like yeah. you were greedy for life. And you know why I said that? Because I wanted to see all my grandkids graduate, marry, have children, she, again, is truly greedy for life. She never settles, she never lays down and says, okay, enough's enough, I've lived my life, I'm done. Instead, it's, it's always looking at something else, wondering about when the great-great-grandchildren and what their milestones are and eager to see those milestones. I think I actually applied a lot of my grandmother's lessons about being greedy for life. Never settling, always trying to achieve something different. Um, she gave us great lessons about giving to other people and really taught us about being caregivers. Caregivers for our family, caregivers for our neighbors, caregivers in our community. And I actually chose a profession that's really all about caring. I'm a psychologist. I think there is something to be said at the end of the day um, for providing care to another human being, particularly a generation above you or two generations above you, knowing what they provided for you. I taught my grandchildren to be generous and give help where it's needed that's what I taught them, what I, what I believed in. I wanted them to do as I was doing. So, and I think they, they are. They are great, like I'm telling you. I have the best grandkids in this world. They do do anything for me. They never let me down. And I am very fortunate for that. One of the biggest things that my grandmother always used to tell us is to remain grateful to hang on to those moments that we're standing in because it could be our last moment or it could be our most treasured moment. Because when life becomes difficult or we have hardships and sorrows, which we know will come, that we need to be able to pull from those resources that we have of the things that we were very, very grateful for. That helps us define here, our purpose here on Earth. I'm, of course, most grateful for my family. Remember family first. Amen. Because it's my family that gives me the inspiration. They make all of my accomplishments feel worthwhile and all of my sorrows or disappointments insignificant. So I really am truly most grateful for my family. I think for me that the answer to what I will be greedy for in the next 50 years has shifted a little bit. Last year when I almost lost my husband to a pulmonary embolus, it was that moment for us as a family to really take pause. That everything that we have is fragile and vulnerable and that we really need to be appreciative of everything and every moment. So I think for me I'll remain greedy for those moments and I'll remain hopeful for the things that will come, but most of all I'll remain grateful for what I already have.